Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today we are going to be designing what you see on my screen and if this is something you are interested in creating with me, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Alright, so welcome back and um, I just wanted you to know that everything we are going to be creating would be taken step by step and we are going to start from the background then we move forward to you know every element that has to be on front so you just have to be patient and i'll take you step by step don't don't worry if you are new to canva you don't have to worry i'm going to take you through if you are also an advanced canva designer you know i got you okay so let's just move into canva okay so here i am in the canva interface okay and the first thing we are going to do is to click on create a design and you can choose any dimension at all you want i'm going to be using the 1080 by 1350 dimension so i come to customize size and i can just enter them here i have been at the moment so there's no need for me to create that okay so the first thing we are going to do is starting from the background like i mentioned so what we are going to do is we come into element in element you can just search for gradient okay so you just search for, I think I spelled it wrongly, okay, but that's fine. And um, we come into graphics. In graphics, there are so many um, elements over here. So we are going to choose this one. If I right click, I can get the information of it, okay. Or if you have it and you just don't know the actual name, you can just click on this I info. Okay, then it gives you square gradient. So that's what we have. Okay, then I increase the size, pressing Alt and increasing the size so much so that it covers our entire canvas. Then what we do next is we come to color. The first color um, input, we are going to choose a red. Okay, so choose red. And um, the second color input, we are going to choose a yellow. So you can just choose a nice yellow. And you can see how this is looking at the moment. It's looking hot. Okay, so. What we are going to do next is we are going to rotate this depending on how you want to gradient to look. Okay, so I rotate mine slightly. Then I come back in here. Okay, so we have so many other elements. So I can choose this. It should give me, okay, good. It's giving me the option to swap color. So I choose the first color input. I choose red again. Second, I choose yellow. Okay, then I make it bigger. Position it here. And I will use the transparency to 35. I think um 35 should be a cool color for us okay yeah so now that we have that what i can do is i can just duplicate you know position this one over here okay it doesn't have to be actually um it doesn't really have to be obvious okay so now that we have this what we are going to do next is we are going to add some interesting shapes so i'll just close this over here all right then um, we come into shapes or you can just choose this triangle and this also depends on what you like so i make it very small you can see it's yellow and i can just duplicate it and just sprinkle it around so where i have it you know the yellow um colors i can actually make this red duplicate you know just try to be skillful with this okay so this is us trying to be cute so in this case i can move this down i can make this you know smaller rotate okay so try to be careful like i always say in your own creations then the next thing we are going to do is i actually had to search for this and the name is gold circle shape so it means that if you come to element and you search for gold circle um how do you spell circle circle shape okay you should actually be able to get that okay so that's it um over here so once you um find it you can if this is pro um element i'm sure there are some free um shapes you can use it shouldn't stop you you understand so we can just uh, make this bigger okay i can position this here i can change the color to white if i want and i can also rotate this and also reduce the transparency okay so we use the transparency of it i can duplicate it let me click away okay duplicate move this here maybe okay so you can see what we are trying to do so now that we have done this the next thing we are going to do is to add some text okay so i press t on my keyboard for text 
or you can simply come to text over here okay then you add some text so at this point we just simply want to let people know whatever our design is going to be about so mine is going to be about um, black friday so yours can be about anything at all you want okay so you know at this point i just want you to be creative in your own in your own style okay so i just come here and i just say now i just have to make it all caps and i say black friday okay then what we do is that um instead of having our black friday i can also decide to just have black okay select or come to the font or the typeface section then i can search for league okay spartan okay so when you search for league spartan okay you should find this and um yeah make it bigger league spartan is actually a free font so doesn't matter with the version of Canva you are on, you should be able to have access to this. Okay, so leaks pattern, I move it to the top over here. Let's check if the positions are good. Okay, it's already centered. So now that we have this, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to duplicate it, you know, a number of times, and we change the text a number of times, we do some things a number of times. Okay, so <laughs> what we are going to do is like I was saying, I duplicate this. Let me duplicate it. I bring it to the bottom over here. And I duplicate it again. Bring it to the bottom. Alright. Alright. Then I say Friday. It's Friday. Yeah. Let's come. Let's come. Let's come. It's Friday. Yeah. Let's come. Let's come. Let okay. So then we come to this. We click on this. Come to effect. In, 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 and in effect, we click on holo. Okay. So. You can see what we are trying to do. Very sweet and interesting. So this is looking thick. And you can, you can see over here we have this slider. Depending on how thick or thick you want your design to look, you can just adjust it. So I want mine to look like this. Okay. So now that we have done this, you can see we are actually, actually getting somewhere. So we come to photos. And in photos, I will simply search for... Um, fashion okay so fashion girl and anytime i'm searching for anything in canva i try to use the simplest words so that i can get what i want and you should you know you can just take my style okay okay so i would scroll down a little bit and at this point i also want you to pick a color that would fit whatever you are trying to do so you can see this girl looks very pretty very pretty okay just in case you know her just tell her i said hello then i come to click on edit image and at this point we are going to remove the background okay but if you're on the free version of canva this is what you can do let me just take it through quickly you can come to this portion the filter and choose cut out only okay so we can even do that to save us some time you can see there are so many images over here but just in case the image you love doesn't or has a background okay what you can do is you can um use some other websites like remove.bg or stickermill.com slash trees to remove the backgrounds or you can visit clipart.com to find images without background that's one of my favorite websites so that these are some of the things you can do i don't know why i'm so excited to you know to to do this with you okay so at this point Hmm. Let me just you know save some time. So I'll just choose any cute lady over here who would fit um you know what we are trying to do. So I can choose this woman over here, okay? And I would make her big. Okay, I make her big and I move her here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to match my vibe. I'm going to make this black and white. So I click on edit image. Then I come to um, filter. So I click on see all. And I scroll down. You see street. Select street. And it will make your image black and white. Okay. So once your image is black and white. What you can do is with this one over here. I will select this text. And move it behind the woman. Or the lady. Okay. And move this one also the same way. You understand and um we can we can make it big okay so i can make this one bigger okay then i position it to the center 
Then I do the same for this. So I also make it bigger. Okay, it should match whatever we are doing. Then I center it. Okay, so you can see what we have at the moment. So now what we can do is I'll select all of these ones. Okay. And I'll move them down a little bit. Select the woman and also move her down a little bit. So now that we have her over here, I just want to add some extra text at the top. That's why I want us to move her down. So to do this, I press on R on my keyboard. Then I, you know, adjust it this way nicely. Then I position it here. Okay. But you can see this image is trying to be troublesome. And the reason is if I put this on top, it's cutting certain parts of the image so now i have just two options it's either i change my image or i find a creative way to make my image look interesting i don't want to use an image that is too sexy because uh i know some of you don't like that yeah so i don't want to use an image that's too sexy because you can see from here that there are some images that are very you know you understand what i mean okay so i can move this woman here Okay, but I want to center her. So we'll just keep her to the center and I'll change the color of the shape to black. Okay, to black. Okay, then we are going to add some information in there. So depending on what you want to write, I'm going to use a dummy text over here. So I press T on my keyboard for some text. Okay, then I move it here. Then I make it bigger. Okay, so I also change it to uh Montserrat because Montserrat has a lighter um font you know the regular one which is very light uh, that's what i'm going to use or the thin version of it okay so then we come to text color and we change the color of our text to white so that we can actually see what we are doing so i can say um free shopping and i can also say free parking yeah, maybe these are the things we would be given out or the available things, shopping and parking. Because I know most of you have cars, so yeah. So I center this and I can make it bigger. Okay, so make it one step smaller. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. Then we can also add another text at the top, but at the moment, I don't think that's really necessary. So come back to elements, okay? Then... What we do is we are going to search for gradient again. So gradient. And um, this time around, we are going to add some circular gradients. Okay. So before I even do that, duplicate your text over to the bottom. Okay. Then we are coming to effects. In effect, we choose color. Reduce the thickness and send it also behind the woman. Okay. So, so click on the woman. Send your text behind her. Okay, so at this point, it means there are two things we can do. I can move the woman up a little bit so that her face doesn't get covered. Then I can bring this text in front of her. Okay, so that you get the whole concept. These Fridays, these um, outline texts are behind and the main text is in front. So that's something we can do. So we just have to now be creative. Okay, so come to graphics, you know. Then what we are going to do is we can search for any of these circles over here. You understand? So these are also gradient circles. And I can put this here, bring it forward, okay, something like this. You know, just be creative. I change the colors. I can choose red over here. You get it. Then we can choose this, duplicate this one also. You know, I can um, put this here and reduce it move it to the top over here and I can even um, I can choose to reduce the size or not depending on what I want so with the second color um, I feel like changing it okay so that yeah it's hot because I want a hot vibe so I choose the same and I yeah, choose something okay then I can just say 50% of depending on what you are selling okay so 50% off okay so then we make it you know bigger like that then we make it smaller and we position it here so you can see then what I'm going to do is to reduce the line spacing of this text and increase it a lot okay so we have it like this over 
here. So this is how uh, um, our design is looking at the moment. And I just hope you're finding this helpful. So we can just duplicate this, spread it around, and just, um, I think everything is looking to, there's too much space at the top over here. So we can select everything, just move it up a little bit. Now it looks like our lady is suspending in the air. So I just drop it down so that she doesn't suspend in the air. So this is what I wanted to teach you how to create in Canva. And I hope you actually found it helpful. So if you look at the design, you realize that we didn't even really have to do much. It's just a matter of arrangement and um, making sure our text is looking very interesting and things like that. Okay, so I hope you found this helpful. And just in case you are interested in more Canva tutorials coming up, what you can do is you can hit on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon next to it. And I would also love to hear from you. So just tell me anything you want to say in the comment section. I'll surely read it and respond myself. The name is Benjamin and always remember, there is no limit to creativity. I will see you in my next video.